Hello students. This lesson is about negative statements and questions. So we're going to go from a positive statement then we're going to go to a negative statement. We're going to make it into a negative statement. And then we're going to change it to a negative question. So to start with, we look at the positive statement. Dan liked milk in his coffee. And we're going to make it the opposite. So whatever the positive is, we're going to say that it's not. That's what makes it negative, is simply by saying the word not in the sentence. So Dan didn't like milk in his coffee. And that, that N apostrophe T right here is the word not. So that's how this becomes a negative statement. It's just by adding this word here. Now, when we add this word and make it a negative statement, that helps us know how to make it a negative question. So we're just gonna change, change the order of the first two words so that it says, didn't Dan like milk in his coffee? Now that could be a question that you're actually asking because you really want to know or it could be a rhetorical question, which means that everybody knows the answer, but you're just asking it to make a point. So a lot of negative questions are rhetorical questions. We might even say it sarcastically, but um, just to make a point, um, but it could also be that you're asking for actual information. So let's go to the next example. Okay, we have a positive statement. Cats love to climb trees. We're gonna make that into a negative statement. Cats don't love to climb trees, okay? Now we know that this don't can be the first word in the sentence. So don't cats love to climb trees? And there you go. This would be the negative question. All right, next. Number two, it says, Tamar always wears earrings. So we need to say the opposite. How can we say this the opposite? Tamar doesn't always wear earrings. She doesn't always wear earrings. Now, here, in the first one, the positive statement, we put the S here at the end of where's, where, because Tamar is third person. She's third person singular, so that she needs that S in her verb. Here, because we added this word, doesn't, which has an S in it, we don't put it here. Okay, so Tamar doesn't always wear earrings. And now to make it negative, we're just going to take this doesn't and put it first. Doesn't Tamar always wear earrings? And that sounds a, a little bit like a, a rhetorical question. Doesn't Tamar always wear earrings? Okay, now we have for number three, we have a positive statement. Mayor wants 
to have more children. So first we're gonna change it to a negative statement. Mayor doesn't want to have more children. So because we added the S in, well, because we added the word doesn't, which has an S in it, we don't need it after want anymore, even though we did have it here. So now we don't need it because it's doesn't want. And now we can take this doesn't and make it for, come first for the negative question. Doesn't mayor want to have more children? Okay. Next, number four, the positive statement. We have paid all of the bills. Now this one, to make it negative, we're just gonna take the have and put the not with it. Now normally, we, we could say we have not paid all of the bills. But when we talk the way we talk, we just w put these two words together and make it haven't, we haven't paid all of the bills. And there's our not right there. So now we can say for our negative question, haven't we paid all of the bills? Haven't we paid all of the bills? And there you go. Okay, number five, positive statement. She likes to do handstands. Negative statement. She doesn't like to do handstands. She doesn't like to do handstands. How do we make this a negative question? We just take that doesn't and put it first. Doesn't she like to do handstands? Doesn't she like to do handstands? Doesn't she like to do handstands? Okay, there you go. Number six, he cooks dinner for the family. How can we make that into a negative statement? He doesn't cook dinner for the family. And then a negative question, doesn't he cook dinner for the family? Doesn't he cook dinner for the family? Okay. All right. And then number seven, positive statement. The car has a dent in it. Okay. Negative statement. The car doesn't have a dent in it. Okay, so we added doesn't, and since doesn't have, because that word has the S, we don't need the S anymore in has. Um, has only had the S because car is third person singular. So we don't need it anymore since we have it here, we don't need it in the has, so we just gonna have, we're just gonna have the word have instead of has, okay? Because we added that word doesn't. So now for the negative question, we have, oops, doesn't the car have a dent in it? Okay, all right. Number eight, positive statement. Americans love apple pie. 
negative statement. Americans don't love apple pie. They don't love apple pie. Okay, we, we, we don't need the doesn't because it's plural. Americans is plural. It's more than one. It's rabim. It's rabim. So since we don't need the, the S in doesn't, we don't need to think about that. So we're just going to add the don't first now for our negative question. Don't Americans love apple pie? Just like that. There you go. Okay, number nine, the dishes need to be washed. Negative statement, the, the dishes don't need to be washed, okay? And then don't the dishes need to be washed? Okay, there's our negative question. And one last one, the positive statement, the dog needs exercise. Negative statement, the dog doesn't need exercise. Doesn't need. So since we have that S here in the doesn't, we don't add it to the need. So it need is now by itself without the S. So the dog doesn't need exercise. And then we just say for the negative question, doesn't the dog need exercise? And there you go. And there you have your negative question. So we practiced with 10 of these, and I think you're ready now to try it on your own.